Now, talking of special features, what attracts you to ZBrush? Kindly leave your reasons in the comment sections below. For me personally, number one reason is going to be its brush. They are the backbone to ZBrush's sculpting power. Out of the box, ZBrush includes around 30 brushes, different brushes, each designed for specific tasks such as carving, smoothing, inflating, adding fine details, you can name it. Another question will be, so what makes these brushes so powerful? And the answer is as simple as customization. Artists love ZBrush because they can fine-tune brush settings like size, intensity and fall-off to get precise results. And it doesn't stop there. ZBrush's community and marketplace offers tons of free brushes and also paid brushes as well, making the two sets even more versatile. This level of flexibility makes ZBrush's brushes truly unmatched in digital sculpting. My number two special feature for ZBrush is going to be Dynamesh and Fiber Mesh Game Changers. Dynamesh is a breakthrough tool that automatically redistributes polygon as you sculpt, keeping the mesh clean and uniform. So you don't have to worry about topology. This is a lifesaver for artists working on organic shapes and concept sculpting, where flexibility matters more than technical cleanup. Fiber mesh, on the other hand, lets you create hair and fur directly in ZBrush, giving you even more control over fine details. Now. My third pick will be poly painting, but honestly, I don't feel the need to speak of it. And so what I'll do is rather speak on some of its well thought of recent updates you can look into. The quick poly group brush, that's number one. And what it does is it simplifies the process of creating poly groups based on edge flow and enhancements to the anchor brush, including a new bend mode for more natural deformation. Another thing is also going to be the integration with Maxine's Redshift Renderer, which has also seen improvements, offering real-time material and lighting updates within the viewport. ZBrush remains an industry-leading digital sculpting program, known for its ability to create photorealistic production quality sculpts with advanced shading, lighting, and rendering. But let's talk about what sets it apart from 3d code or the competition unlike 3d code zbrush employs pixel technology a unique system that stores depth orientation and material information in smart pixels each pixel contains both 2d and 3d data allowing for highly detailed and dynamic sculpting experience now one of ZBrush's standout features is the Gizmo 3D, which has been refined in its recent updates with AI-assisted snapping and predictive transformations. This makes moving, rotation, and scaling models even more intuitive. And then there is the Z Modeler Brush, a powerhouse for low-res polygonal modeling. This year, it's received major enhancements, including procedural modeling capabilities and real-time boolean operations, perfect for high-detail sculpting, organic modeling, and hard surface work. However, ZBrush isn't perfect. It still lacks native support for 3D connection devices and doesn't offer the same level of simultaneous sculpting and painting as 3D code. This is where 3D code truly shines. ZBrush is famous for handling millions of high-resolution polygons with incredible efficiency. Its optimized algorithms and lightweight mesh-based workflow makes sculpting smooth, even at extreme detailed levels. And with its latest update, ZBrush now uses AI-driven polygon optimization, automatically reducing unnecessary geometry while preserving details. That means artists can 
push even higher polygon counts even on mid-range hardwares but let's be real hardware still matters and so what are we looking at here a system with mid-range cpu and a 16 gigabytes of ram sure it can handle tens of millions of polygons but if you push past 100 million you are going to feel it especially without a high performance gpu to back it historically zbrush has been known for its closed ecosystem but recent updates have made interoperability much better this is not new zbrush users can export models in various formats like obj fbx and usd but there is a catch some proprietary data is lost during export such as pixel information and subdivision levels if you are bringing models into zbrush you often need to retopologize or remesh them before sculpting however zbrush has improved its live linking capabilities with other dcc tools making workflow integration much smoother than before now all that i took time to break down had to do with the technical differences that exist between both softwares but these differences aren't the overall deciding factors that one should look at when choosing a digital sculpting software there is another truth and that truth had to do with first of all looking at yourself what you want to do how far you want to take it and then now you can look into what software can take you that far when choosing between zbrush and 3d code forget about hardware that can always be upgraded instead focus on your career aspiration if your dream is to attend an fx school work in a major vfx studio and contribute to high-end productions then zbrush is a must no matter how powerful 3d code becomes the reality is that big studios have decades worth of projects built in zbrush they aren't switching anytime soon that doesn't mean 3d code isn't capable it absolutely is but in the vfx industry standardization matters you should also stay flexible many studios use proprietary tools that aren't publicly available and so be ready to adapt learn quickly and master whatever software is required however if your focus is on texturing topology uv mapping quick prototyping and fast project turnarounds then 3d code is the way to go it's especially great for freelancers indie creators and generalist artists because of its perpetual license model once you own it you own it that freedom alone makes it powerful makes it a powerful asset in the right hand ultimately your software choice should align with your goals be open to learning both because in this industry versatility is key right okay if you love this video then thumbs up share subscribe until my next video peace